Hey, g'day legends, and thanks for tuning in on this episode of the Barra C1100 build. Gonna go ahead and give the firewall a bit more attention. Wanna make that um, infill panel there, maybe block off a few out of the bigger holes. Get that happening. Uh, I wanna try and get the dash mounted uh, correctly, like bolt in, <clears throat> bolt in, bolt out situation. It's just tacked in there at the moment. I did that to try and yeah get everything set up, get dimensionally correct before I sort of locked it down. So I'm gonna get that happening. And the rear brake lines, the um, fletchy lines, I wanna get them mounted to the diff. These normally mount to the, the Falcon body. So I've gotta get these mounted to the diff. And I've got a bit of extra time, we'll see what else I can get done, eh? Let's get into it. Oh yeah, so first things first, I've got to make a template of that triangle piece that's missing there. So a couple of options of what I can do there. I can either put some tape from the outside, put a couple pieces of tape on the outside and then sort of using a pressure pack, uh, make, make a pattern on the inside, like spray paint it from the inside and that'll give me the exact pattern to fill it in or get a bit of cardboard, trim it until it fits. Um, that's just a couple of options, so I'll have a look around, have a think, see what I've got, and um, yeah, make a template and get it cut out, eh? Alright, yeah, so I think I'm going to try the old mask and tape and uh, spray paint option first. Uh, see how that goes. So yeah, like I said, we'll just, we just throw some mask and tape. I'll probably get rid of that piece there. Throw some mask and tape. Um, over the area that needs filling in. Make it, make sure it's sort of sturdy enough. Make sure you've got enough on it. Sort of overlap it, overlap it a fair bit. And um, yeah, once once I've got all the um, all the masking tape on it. Spray paint it from the inside, let it set for a second, and then uh, pull it all off. And by rights, it should be the right, um, the right shape, the exact shape to do all we want. So yeah, I'll um, grab his ear and we'll go for a look in uh, side and see. I haven't got much paint in this can, but we'll see what we can do. So, so we'll just spray it, concentrate on the edges, obviously. Like that. All the way down there. Oh, yeah. So, I'll let that dry and then, um, yeah, see what paint we come up with. Get it cut out and get it put in. Alrighty, so while I'm waiting for that paint to dry on that firewall template, I think what I'm going to do, quick little job to get out of the road, I think I'm going to make the brackets to mount these flexi lines to the diff. Um, so you can see sort of how they mounted with the factory. There's a little, there's a little locking tab there on that bracket. You see, it used to slide up in the chassis and then it had one bolt bolted on. So going to mount it in a fashion that it picks up um, picks up that bolt I'll there's a little L bracket on both sides that I'll um, weld to the diff I'll just take them clean the diff up take them on and that should get those situated and it's just a matter of um, yeah running the hard line for it so yeah I'll knock those little brackets out get them welded on all right yeah so I just found some scrap there before um, just marked out the um, two bits of rectangle I want to cut out for those brake line brackets so yeah just gonna go ahead, get them cut, get them folded, and um, see what they look like on the diff, eh? Right, yeah, so I went ahead and cut these bits of plate out, fold them up and drilled the holes. So they're just gonna, yeah, land a bit, yay. Uh, and they'll land these brackets, if I can do this one-handed, like that. Um, yeah, I'll pick that hole up there. And um, yeah, I'll just weld them to the diff, and that way, yeah, just utilizes the factory um, flexi lines and they can be changed at a later date if needed so yeah I'll um get the um clean disc on the grinder and I'll um bare metal the tubes on the diff housing both sides and um get this TIG welded on eh? Alrighty so I got those brackets for those flexi lines uh brake lines welded onto the diff there I'm gonna let that cool down um 
the paint will be well and truly dry on this template now so gonna go ahead peel that off and then um yeah clean up some of the steel get a lay down the steel um yeah cut it out and um start cleaning this bowl up get it plugged up oh yeah that's it what we're working with eh? uh, hopefully this thing stays together Something like that, eh? Oh yeah, I'll get this on the steel and get it cut out. Right, yeah, so I got that piece uh, cut out, roughed out. I uh, just got it sitting there with a magnet. Gonna go ahead and bring the TIG over and um, tack it into position and yeah, see what we're working with. Alright, yeah, so I got that piece um, tacked into position. It's not fully welded out yet, it's just tacked in, so uh, yeah, happy with that. Gonna have to shut it down for today, and this is organised to go out for tea, so I may not be late for that. So yeah, we'll just shut it down for today, get in tomorrow. Alright, yeah, legends, so we're back into it for another day on the Barra Inter. Uh, first thing I want to do, I want to see if I can get the dash mounted properly. So the dash has only been uh, essentially tack welded in a position. Uh, I did that because I didn't know if that's where it was going to live. Then I had to mock up the column, pedal box, uh, all that jazz. And I didn't want to sort of commit to a position on the dash without knowing if everything else was going to work. So now that we've confirmed all of that, um, yeah, I'm happy to... Um, get the dash mounted properly so i've went ahead and made some mounts off camera but um probably gonna have to modify them a little bit to work but that's the general idea you can see one angle line inside the other probably cut these in half um what's going to happen is yeah i'll release that tack off there and those bits of angle line will slip in there and basically yeah the dash will bolt in from underneath and it'll just pull straight back out so one angle line will be left there it'll be welded to the cab the other bit of angle on will be welded to this pipe and then yeah you just like slip on push in and then just bolt in from underneath and that's how the dash will mount and there's a another mount up here that'll be um going to the scuttle panel up there that'll stabilize that as well so yeah um that's the plan straight up if we get that um executed or happening i might look at um filling in some more of the holes around the firewall like along with that other piece there uh but yeah see how we go with the dash first so yeah let's get into it right yeah so first move is i've got to um make sure this dash isn't going to move around on me so i'm thinking i'll just grab this bit of scrap rhs cut it to length and um yeah just tack weld to the floor into the bar and then i can um yeah release release the tack weld off there and um get to making these mounts so like i say measure this up cut it and get it tacked in eh? Right, yeah, so I'm just going to mark this um, piece of RHS out for our um, stabilizer bracket for that dash bar. Uh, what I've got you is, yeah, just want a bit of appreciation post. Thanks for everyone who's um, who's already subscribed, all the recent subscribers, everyone who's, yeah, commenting and liking and sharing the sharing the vids. Really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I guess if, if you've been on the fence about um, subscribing to the channel, um, yeah, go ahead and do it. It's free. I really appreciate it. It helps out. And, um, yeah, there's a lot more, uh, lot more content coming this way. So um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Nothing, nothing uh, helps better do that than subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. Like um, yeah, it tells you straight away. So right, yeah, let's get into it, eh? So I'll mark that end first, and I'll uh, get this happening. Quite fifty. Oh yeah, so I'll put me, um, I don't need two glasses, <laughs> put them on and try the old earmuffs on. Right, yeah, so I'm just going to mark this um, piece of RHS out for our um, stable. Right, yeah, so I'm just going to mark this um, piece of RHS out for our um, stabilizer bracket for that. Right, yeah, so that fitted a treat i uh, went ahead and tacked it in position so now i just got to um yeah release that weld um probably massage 
that inner inner steel a little bit try and square it up and then get that new mount cut the suit get it measured up um yeah hopefully it um, doesn't take too much to get it fitted i think it'll be pretty straightforward do one side at a time then uh yeah head over the other side and then um yeah hopefully she's uh mounted then we can probably work on actually that center mount while i'm thinking of it um yeah might be able to look at that as well right yo Oh right, yeah, so I got that um, the dash bar released there. Uh, I've got the uh, the mount trimmed up the suit, got it sat in there. So gonna fire the welder up. Um, yeah, get that tacked into place, and then yeah, move on to the other side. Do the same, get the stabilizer bracket uh, in, and um, yeah, get it mounted up. Eh? Let's get into it. All right, yeah. So just went ahead and got the um, driver side dash mount done. Um, didn't bother filming. It's the same as the other side. And you both see me welding grind a thousand times. So got that mount in. Uh, obviously, it needs fully welding once it comes out. But the dash is actually yeah, it's sitting on its mount, so those mounts aren't going anywhere. So that's that's sorted out. Um, like I said just before, I might go ahead and. Um, See if I can fill some of these bigger holes in, uh, maybe those three holes there uh, for now and um, yeah, clean up some of it for all. So I'll probably go ahead, get some paper, make some templates, cut them out and yeah, get them welded in. So let's get into it. Right, yeah, so I just want to share a little tip with you. You've probably seen it uh, before on other channels or someone showed you in real life. Um, but I just thought I'll show you um, a little trick when you're trying to get a template. Um, yeah, you don't really have any tools or want to muck around too long. so. Go ahead and um, just get a bit of paper. Try and dirty, dirty your fingers up um, best as you can. And then just sit, um, sit your piece of paper over the hole that you want to template or whatever the shape is. And just go ahead and rub it up like that. And then, um, yeah, presto. We got the, um, the shape of the circle you want. So I can just move this up here into another position. Make sure your paper's um, still not going to move anywhere. And again, just yeah, just rub that rub that edge of the circle. And um, again, there's your new template. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, cut these out uh, of paper, out of the paper, get them cut out of um, steel, and get them tack welded in, though. Alrighty, just another little uh, tech tip for you, if you're interested. So I'll just mark. Um, I'll mark this other um, fill panel out, um, just roughly. And um, show you a tool I use. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, it's just, they're just pretty handy. It just sort of gives you a tech tip. Called Black Panthers. Um, if, you, if you, your sheet metal is thin enough um, and you've got the right pair, um, pretty easy to cut with these things. So um, this is only fill in stuff. Uh, for the dash there, so I don't need to go ahead and use the two mil stuff. I just use this stuff, about one ish, one ish mil, I'd say. Um, and as you can see, it's um, not much of a struggle for these for these um, for these cutters at all. Um, and yeah, it's just um, saves so getting the grind around, making sparks, all that sort of jazz. If you don't if you don't need to make all that noise, dust, um, yeah, it's sort of worth it in my books if you can just use this. Um, so just another little tech tip for you though, so I'll finish getting this trimmed up and um, yeah, we'll get these welded in. Oh yeah, so um, as you can see, I've already got those um, those little fill-in plates cut out. Um, just got them sitting there with my magnets. Uh, I've got the welder fired up, so just going to go ahead and um, get these tacked in, eh? So let's do it. That one just moved. Oh yeah, let's uh, have another go at this, eh?
Right here, Legends. So I've got those um, infill panels done on the firewall there. All those three, like I said. Just got a tacked in, haven't got them welded up yet. Um, I'll finish welding them out later on. Got some ideas for the next video. I think I'm going to go ahead, finish off the fuel tank, install, get all that cleaned up. Uh, in doing that, I'm going to be able to get started on the tray. So I've got to go ahead and order the materials for the tray. I'm not sure if the mud guards, when they'll turn up, I've got to measure and order them. But yeah, I think that's probably the next um, video after this, potentially. I do have to start thinking about what I'm going to do with the roof, uh, also on this thing. But yeah, I think probably the tray first, because that's um, that locked down that part of the design as well. So um, as always, everyone, thanks for watching. If you can do us a favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's always appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one.